Good morning, class family. I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you are a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? November 30th, 2021. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will read the alphabet chart. Then, we will review the letter E. Next, we will read the poem, One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. Later, we will play the game, Guess Our Word with Syllables. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's talk about what we're doing today. Do you remember where the date is? Let's go ahead and say it again together. Ready? November 30th, 2021. Today's the last day in November. Do you know what month it's going to become tomorrow? Hmm. Think about it. What month is after November? November D. December. I heard some of you say it. You're right. We're going to be in December. Let's look at our message and see some of the special things we're doing this morning during language arts. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. Oh, it is Tuesday. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at the next telling sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. You know we learn a lot at school every day in different subjects to pump our brains with knowledge. That's what students do at school. First, we will read the alphabet chart. Okay, so starting from A all the way to Z, we'll be reviewing each letter and sound as we say our good mornings to everyone in A, B, C, order. Then we will review the letter E. So we will be reviewing the letter E today, like E, Ed, E. Remember, when you make a lowercase e, you are going to go across, over, around, and then leave a little space open. For an uppercase e, remember, you're going to first pull straight down, then pick up your pencil or marker and pull across at the top, middle, and bottom. So this one is down, up, across, across, across. We're going to be practicing both the lowercase and uppercase letter E, like E, Ed, E. All right, let's look at the next thing. Next, we will read the poem, one, two, buckle my shoe. Okay, so we're going to be checking out this poem together. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. We're gonna be looking at this poem together. One, two, buckle my shoe. And also, later we will play the game, guess our word with syllables. Love, Miss Joyner. So we're gonna play the game, guess our word with syllables. I'm gonna say a word and write down the syllables and then you are going to guess that word. It's gonna be a fun game to help pump our brains with knowledge. Also, today you will be reading books. We're gonna be reading pattern books and we're gonna be reading to understand and learn how authors can write with pattern sentences. And during writing workshop today, you are going to be getting your materials and resources, your ABC chart. You are going to be getting your crayons, your markers, colored pencils, and, and paper. And we're going to be continuing our pattern book that we started yesterday using the same pattern sentence throughout to show that repetition, just like the authors that we've been studying and how they write their stories. All right, let's have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fan. 
fantastic. Remember, you're going to be a wonderful communicator. Make sure that you speak clearly. And before we get started on all of the language arts things, let's go ahead and get ready to pump up our communication skills. We're going to be doing our T-chart with yes or no answers. Let's look at the picture and the question. Ready? Do you like peas? Hmm. Well, do you? Do you like peas? Think about what your reason is and you're gonna say yes or no and share why that's your answer. Do you like peas?